And we are back on SmackDown. Kicking off round one of the World Heavyweight Championship tournament here on the blue brand. And give me liberty because well, the wrestling god is making his way to the ring. TJ getting the hell an entrance of a lifetime right now. He wasn't getting anything like this last year. Now let's just talk about the man that he is about to face coming up the hot streak that was the winner of the war zone and that was putting Blitz on notice. However, earlier this week, ooh, did he not, did he not tap to, to Nathan? That's exactly right. I mean, it, talk about, I, you know, I'm not sure if I've seen a, a faster plummet really. You know, Gulas was on top of the world or, you know, I guess in hell, as he likes to say, uh, after winning the war zone and then challenging Blitz. Couldn't get the job done, but had a lot of people asking questions, including myself. Uh, I made the comment that Blitz might have won that match, might have retained his title with the skin of his teeth after that rolling knee bar. Gulas had his number for majority of the contest, and he's going to look to, well, to put Blitz's championship reign in jeopardy again, but he has to get to the wrestling god first. So that is no easy feat. No easy feat for uh, TJ either. Who is? And this, this is the first match. This is this is the first one on one for both of these gentlemen. And oh, this is very the, surprising. The, 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 uh, drums, the drum. Oh my! Agent K, do you feel that same pit in your stomach every time you hear that song? Well, look, it never leaves. It never leaves Agent A, and I'm sure everyone here in Cincinnati feeling the same, especially these gentlemen. Cincinnati Police Department escorting Gulash out here, particularly because Gulash, I mean, he arrived to the arena in a very angered and, and passionate state, more than he already is. Had Angela by his side and all, and she supports him on in this match. And the only person able to calm him down in this, you know, interestingly so, even after the battle we saw in Yankee Stadium, Blitz extended a hand of friendship to Goulash and said, I extend my hand to help you. What you do with it is up to you. If you want to continue to fight me, I'll have no choice but to take you down until you stop. But he wants to do this nobly. He wants to help this scorned soul. But does this look like a soul that wants saving? Well, listen, Blitz is a better man than people give him credit for, quite frankly, because trying to save Goulash is a task I think is far, far too heavy for even the gladiator to lift. And well, one-on-one, -on -one, one of these men will get the chance to see the gladiator, potentially even see him now. And oh! And it's interesting to see that big boot there from TJ. Both these men have a storied history with Blitz. TJ, the protege, oh, as you see there. And already, Angela making herself a factor in this matchup. And TJ, doesn't know no better, so he's gonna get scooped up. God, I can't watch. And he's gonna get dropped right on the top of his head by that tombstone. Stone. Pulled away, dead center of the ring. Goulash has this potentially here over Evangelist finagling. Nope, he doesn't even let Newton get to one. Big Kamehameha! And goes for it, hooks the leg. One, two, not to be. And TJ sort of beside himself there. Neck breaker. Beautiful technique. No time to be beside yourself. He knows what the opportunity he's fighting for. TJ has yet to have a world title match ever since the, oh! Revenge of the Fallen one-on-one -on -one with his older cousin. And it's interesting. I mean, he started off his career with quite a many. I mean, he... he Quite literally, his first singles match in the AWF was... An AWF championship match that he got damn close to getting it. Precisely. The next big pay-per-view match for him, SummerSlam Intercontinental Champion, IC Chamber. He loses in that. Next month, he's fighting the five-star classic, Kilgore, for the AWF championship again. Next, Action's Heavyweight Championship. And to take this sort of... It was then and after when he lost to... Wait a second, wait a second, wait Look a second. Oh! Oh, he could be, he could be making his way, making his routes. No, he's not done. The big two behemoths 
crashing down on the map. But look at that. Goulash. Big right hand and Green Terror. And look Whoa! at that. But it was indeed. It wasn't until a, another Kamehameha for those hooks the leg. One, two, not to be. And a two count there. TJ getting a handful of those luscious locks from Goulash. <laughs> Whoa, he's back up. Netbreaker. The last tournament TJ was in for a world title. It was the what the AWF Championship tournament where he lost to CM Low. Before that, it was well his older cousin. Before, right before he became undisputed champion, it could have been TJ versus Tip Tastic to become the first undisputed champion of our company. And oh, Augusta, oh, he was still the man in blue then, so it would definitely have been a a sight to behold. And TJ has been battled oh. out and been stifled by the top stars here in the AWF. And TJ looks to join that pantheon here in this tournament, but Gulas here is not going to oh, let him. Oh, but TJ, oh. he might just run through Gulas here. He just, and he just, he just choked the Green Terror out. Gulas is incapacitated. In the most savage manner that I've seen in my years of professional wrestling commentary. He just, he just killed a zombie. Look at this. Oh my. TJ! It's almost like a front face lock. He had him hanging. He advances to face either Lamb or Showtime in the next round. Showtime, an older cousin of his. And, well, Lamb. Both of these matches will be first time matches for this young man. He's got to prepare, he's got to anticipate. But look at him as Angela tries to console with her passed out green guard dog. We have more SmackDown up next.